Hello, my name is Martin and welcome back to another video. I'm here in the Hume Hippodrome. Get your feet down. Oh the Hume Hippodrome opened as a music hall in 1901. Initially called the Grand Junction Theatre and Floral Hall, it was part of a chain of uh, music halls across the northwest called the Broadhead Circuit. Now Hume at the time was a very different place to what we know now. Uh, the music hall was surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of terraced streets and in those terraced streets lived thousands of working class people and the Broadhead Circuit brought music hall and entertainment to those working class people. Now the Broadhead Circuit was owned by William Henry Broadhead and the motto was quick, clean, smart and bright and indeed these music halls were quite lavishly decorated and for working class people it would have been quite an occasion to go to the theatre and find themselves in such a large building outside of probably the places that they worked and being in one of these buildings would have added to the sense of occasion and the entertainment. So over the years this place has been the inevitable bingo hall, a snooker hall and a church ministry occupied the ground floor for a while. In 2018 there were some homeless people squatting in there taking refuge. So the Hippodrome had various function suites. Um, I suppose there was parties and all sorts of events held here. This was the floral suite. Obviously a shadow of what it was, but you can imagine what went on here. There must have been all sorts of parties and stuff. According to this thesis on the uh, Broadhead Circuit by Victoria Garlic, the floral suite was filled with plush seats, ornamental plants, daily newspapers, and light refreshments could be taken just before the performances, and it was accessible to all patrons. Well, come and look at this um, staircase because it's one of the amazing things in this building. You come down this way. This staircase led down to street level. Quite nice, isn't it? Um, I think there was a cinema in, in my hometown back in the day and it was a bit similar to this. It was, a, it was an occasion coming here to the cinema or coming to the theatre, weren't it? You come down this way. I mean, we're blocked now by, by this big board and everything, but if you look at the, uh, the wallpapers, that kind of velvety stuff, I don't know what they called it, there's kind of like, kind of velvety, really plush, and the, uh, the plaster work, and the decor, the colour scheme. And can you imagine when people came up here, the excitement they had, they had, they must have had within themselves as they were going into the theatre, must have been brilliant. I almost want to be uh, Edwardian.
So as you can imagine, there were many hundreds of acts that performed at the Hume Hippodrome over the years. And I'll mention a few, some we know, some we don't know. We've got Benny Hill, Shirley Bassey, Gracie Fields, George Formby, Jimmy Clitheroe going right back here, Scott and Whaley, Cassie Warmer, Will Garland, Randolph Scott and the Tiller Girls. And of course there would have been many other acts as well including magicians, contortionists, ventriloquists, escapologists, whistling acts and performing dogs. And not to leave out the Festival of Nudes. So backstage now at the Hume Hippodrome, all we have is the pigeons for company. You can see the state that it's in and there's some lifting gear there for probably the curtain or uh, an on-stage trap door or something. And although the uh, bricks and mortar and the superstructure are all intact, the floors are quite rotten. And as I found out as I was walking this way, my foot went through a couple of times. So it's going to be a mammoth task to restore this place, but... Such a fantastic building. As you can see, evidence here of the homeless people that were here. But well, check out those lampshades. 1970s, were they? Anyway, this is another one of the bars in the uh, in the theatre. Anyone for uh, pre-drinks? So I'm with someone today, Oliver, who's a spokesman or is part of the Save Hume Hippodrome group. And he's going to tell us a little bit about what the group are trying to achieve. Because if you can see, this is a mammoth task. So let's just talk to Oliver. Right, so I'm stood on the stage of the Hume Hippodrome. And I'm here with Oliver, who's a member of the Save Hume Hippodrome group. Now, just before we talk, I've got to get something out of my system because you had a famous father, didn't you? That's right. Tony Wilson. This is Oliver Wilson, <laughs> Tony's son. Uh, so, fantastic to meet you and speak to you. Nice to meet you, Martin. Yeah, and it's great that it's come full circle because factory started in Hume and we're here at Hume Hippodrome. Mm. Well, enough of that. What can we do? What are you trying to achieve and what can we do to try and help to save this beautiful building? So it all came about about four or five weeks ago when we were surprised to see this building listed on LondonAuctionHouse.com uh, for sale for redevelopment. Um, a lot of people were shocked and saddened to hear that we might lose it for more flats. Uh, we formed a campaign group and actually got the auction stopped right at the last minute right. two weeks ago, which is good but we do believe a private sale is still going ahead. So we're fighting against that happening. Right. We started a campaign and we started a crowdfund as well. Um, we've raised 10,000 pounds so far and we've got another about seven and a half to go on the stretch target. This is just a, a, a very first um, pot of money to, for us to secure the building. We want to get a tarp on the roof. We want to clear out all of the junk that you've seen in here. Yeah. We want to shore the building up and we want to get um, a proper survey done because ultimately to bring this building back you're looking at 20 to 30 million pound budget yeah, uh, yeah. yeah which is what we're gearing up for and what we're looking towards is ultimately you know your bigger pots of funding from um the lottery heritage lottery and stuff like that uh, but for the moment we're raising this small amount of money to get a tarp on the roof and just shore the building up and the campaign is continuing and we want to bring it back under community use Right. Um, and we have a whole vision for the future of the Hippodrome. You know, this place has been here for 120 years. We think it should be here for another 100 years. Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask, actually, what your plans were for the future. So we want to bring the theatre back into use and have home house productions and also touring productions and wrap a, a theatre production school around it where people can come and train in absolutely anything from the theatre, from your sound and your lighting to your rigging to costume and set design. There are also plans as well for a museum of Manchester music and art, not just about the Manchester era, <laughs> Why not? but about the hundreds of years of uh, musical legacy before it as well. Right. And as you've seen, there's a lot of other uh, rooms and spaces in this building. So especially on the front, we've got a mixed use uh, vision, including a library, a cafe, a bakery, a bike hub, and a community wellness space. Right. So lots of different uses, but the main thing is we want to bring it back under community ownership. Yeah, that's brilliant. So a venue again, a school, 
yeah. and everything else that you mentioned as well because it would just be a crying shame even even though we've walked around on the places in a state of dereliction it, the beauty still comes through the, the this beautiful is it rococo plaster that's right that i'll let right? you pronounce it not me i think so yeah <laughs> this be the beautiful plaster the decor it, it just the place is just begging to be saved and to be to be made beautiful again and it will be a crying shame to see this go and more apartments we don't want that so if you feel anything for this place and you want to help i'll put the website down here the crowdfunding website no matter what you can give please give i'll be giving to try and save and get an, uh, some initial money just to shore this place up and then we move forward and try and restore it to its former glory thank you very much for taking us around it's been fantastic thank you for coming martin no really problem. appreciate it yeah no problem i hope i can help and hope people at home uh, feel the you know feel that they want to help as well anyway that said we'll take a quick look round and then we'll finish the video thanks very much oliver cheers martin great Oh, what? oh yeah The Prince Albert Buffet. Look at this wallpaper. Bloody hell, I think I remember having wallpaper like that when I was a kid. And the tiles. The colour scheme in here definitely, definitely dates it. But uh, you can hear the echoes. It reminds me a bit of the Overlook Hotel from The Shining a little bit. Um, <laughs> but, but that's just in my head. I love it. Gold mirrors. This must have been fantastic. I don't know what this bar was called, but it's amazing. Um, and I really am getting the shining. <laughs> I'm sorry. I bet it's been a long time since any drinks were served in here. What a difference 40 years makes, eh? This was the Hume Hippodrome in 1980. I presume this was the bingo hall years, but look how fantastic it looks. 
I would love to see it back like that again, full of people enjoying performances. There is a very real possibility that this place could be pulled down. The developers have got their eye on it, they want to build more housing here. I would love to see it saved, restored and come back and watch the progress of the restoration. That would be a fantastic to revisit. So let's hope we can all come together and the community comes together to help to save this fantastic place with an amazing heritage. I'll put the link to the crowdfunder and I'll pin it in the first comment. So there you go, the Hume Hippodrome. And I can't help but being taken back to the, uh, the Edwardian times when people would have paid whatever, what was it, a shilling and come in here and watch the other uh, shows that were on. That's the way I see it in my head because it's so beautiful and as soon as you come in, doesn't matter what year you're in, whether it's 1980 or 2021, you're transported right back to the early 1900s. This place is absolutely fantastic. So check out the crowdfunding site. I'll put the website here. Let's help the people that are trying to save this place, raise some money so that we can save this beautiful building. So from the Hume Hippodrome in Manchester, thanks very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time in the next video.